Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com and this is how you download your raw DNA from Ancestry. I'm on the home page here. I want to go to the DNA main page. And over here on the right, I'm going to go to settings and just scroll down to the very end. This last section here with actions, this is where you download your raw DNA data. You are asked to put in your Ancestry password again. Click that you understand that you're taking your DNA outside of Ancestry security measures and then click confirm. So now you're going to wait for an email. The email will be the one that's associated with your Ancestry account. Okay, back after a short break. Well, that certainly wasn't instantaneous. Subject being your request to download Ancestry DNA raw data. So the request will expire after seven days, but I'm going to assume that you're going to grab this straight away. Click confirm. And now you can download the data. Click the green button here and then wait. You see down here, it is a, what? It's 5.6 meg file. So down it comes. So it's coming down in zip format. It goes into your downloads folder. I'll just show in folder here. And here it is, a zip file. Keep it zipped, so if you want to look inside, it's a large TXT file, which is human readable. Right, so what you want to do is keep this in a secure place. Right, so I'm going to move it from my downloads folder into a dedicated folder. And now I can use this particular file to upload my DNA to other websites that accept external DNA files. So I've already downloaded my Ancestry DNA to my local machine. It's sitting in this folder here. It comes down as a zip file. Don't make any changes to it. Just navigate to the familytreedna.com site. You don't set up an account at this point. I'll just click accept the cookies. And up here at the top the menu, just click on upload DNA data. Now you're going to take the first option here of autosomal DNA. So the ancestry DNA is autosomal. Okay. So from here, this is where you set up your account. It does not it just doesn't like the apostrophe. Okay. So thanks Family Tree DNA. You're not you're not a fan of Irish names, eh? So I guess if I just go O'Brien. Okay, so join today. I can, I'm consenting to the Family Tree DNA's Terms of Service. You're taken to the upload page, and what it's asking you here is, what is your type of DNA? You're either transferring from MyHeritage or from another type, which is both 23andMe and Ancestry DNA. So in this example, we're pulling in from Ancestry DNA. Drag and drop here to upload file or browse file. So I have the file sitting here on my laptop. So I will simply drag and drop and then click submit. There we go. Congratulations. At this point, you have to sign a release form and confirm and proceed. Make sure that you read the terms of service and there's two areas that you need to be comfortable with. One is privacy in general, and the other area is the position of family tree DNA when it comes to law enforcement. As long as you are comfortable with those, you agree, confirm and proceed. Once that's done, your DNA is submitted for processing. Now, family tree will say in their email to you that it could take between three to five days for you to start seeing your DNA matches. It kind of depends on when their processing runs and if you happen to upload it on a certain date, you may actually find your DNA matches turning up within a few hours or indeed the following day. But let's say five days is the outer outer limit, but sometimes it's, it's a fair bit faster than that. Once you got, start getting your DNA matches, you can choose to upgrade and unlock certain features like the chromosome browser, or you can simply keep coming back and checking your DNA matches. Hope that helps and best of luck with your research.